Hi, this is Leo from ThemeChills.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Eternity WordPress theme. Firstly, what you'll need to do is set up the WordPress installation, whether it be on your local host or server, that's up to you. But for the purposes of the demo video, I'm going to show you how uh, I do it through my local host. So I've already set up the WordPress installation, as you can see. I'm just going to log into the platform itself. I better put in my correct password. Great. So once you purchase the theme, you'll see that you have the following files. Let me just bring it up. So you have the main download file. And what we'll do, we'll unzip that. Now within the main download file, you have the licensing folder, the documentation, a demo XML file, PSDs, the child theme, as well as the actual WordPress installation. So what you can do is either install it as a zip file through WordPress directly, which is found here, I'll just show you. And you would go to add new. I've already installed it, but uh, I'll just show you where to go about doing it. Upload theme, choose the file, and you select the WordPress installation, open it, and install. Like I said, I've already installed it. Obviously, in your case, you'll, you'll need to install it uh, fresh. Once the installation completes, you'll see that your theme will appear here. Now, one thing to bear in mind, what I would recommend is to install the main theme, which I just showed you, but also the child theme, which is found here. And that follows the same process. You'd go to Add New, Upload Theme, choose the file, and then you upload this zip file. The reason for that is you should ideally be doing all your customizations in the child theme. That way, if there are any updates made to the main theme, you won't lose any of your changes. So that's the benefit of using the child theme. In saying that, what I'll do, I've installed the main theme here, but I'm going to work off the child theme, which is this one here. So I'll activate that. And once you activate it, you will see this notification area here that indicates there are certain plugins that the theme depends on. And uh, what you need to do is simply just begin activating plugins. So you click on this link. So then what you do is select all of them. And you go to install, apply. Great, everything's installed but not activated. Therefore, once again, you need to select all, activate, apply, and there you go. Now all the plugins that the theme is dependent on are installed, so we can return to the dashboard. And what we'll do, I'll just click on visit site, just so we can start getting an indication as to what the, what the WordPress uh, installation is looking like. As you can see, it's pretty bare bones. There's not much there. This is the site title, so you can modify that to your initials. But you, we have some notices here that indicate whether you upload a, a header for the corresponding theme. Alternatively, you can also do the menus. What I would recommend, firstly, if you want to, if you want the theme to look the same as what you've seen in the live preview, it's probably best to upload the demo content. The way to do that, it's fairly straightforward as well. What we'll do, we'll go to import, and you'll need to select the WordPress importer. Now, I've already installed the plugin, that's why I have this option, but if you haven't installed it, it'll just give you a prompt uh, to indicate to do so. So, just go ahead and install and activate it, and then you'll come back to this screen here. So, what you then do is you choose the demo content, which is provided in the main download, and it's labeled eternity.wordpress dot and the date stamp of when the content was last updated so you'd select that hit open then you go upload file and import and you can create your own login or you could use my name I'd probably recommend to use your own so you'd select your own and then you can choose whether you want to download and import file attachments um, if you want to 
see the images that are on the demo, then it's probably worth doing that. So I'd select that. What I'll do is I'll pause the video here, and once it finishes, I'll come back. Okay, so now the installation has completed. So what we'll do is just click on the Have Fun link. As you can see, the content has been uploaded here. So now let's take a look at the theme on the front end. Are there any changes? Nope. And that's because the menus uh, haven't been activated yet. You will see as soon as I do that, um, the theme will come to life essentially. And it's fairly straightforward. All you need to do is select theme locations as primary menu. The structure is already there. Save. Let's go and look at the theme now. And there you go. It's starting to come about. Um, as you can see, the navigation is already working. There you go. The form is there, but the color is a bit off. And that's because it still requires the featured um, header content area. So what we'll do to enable that, we'll go back into the uh, admin section and we'll go into header and we'll select this placeholder image obviously you will add your own for the purposes of the demo this will do save let's see how it looks now there we go it's starting to come along but we still need to have the names um, of the of the bride and groom so to do that what we do is we can go to well we can either go to the widgets section or we can go directly into the theme customizer so we'll go we'll start the customizer theme from the theme customizer just so you can get an indication as to how you can change the colors and, and all that so firstly I'll just add the couple name add widgets and let's do a search for the custom widgets and we will go for wedding couple name okay Cecilia and Kevin sounds good as you can see you can change the byline if you wanted to so you could say invite you to celebrate at their wedding let's just say soon Well, actually, let's change it to coming soon. Something like that. You can change that to whatever you like and you'll see it adjust in real time over there. That's great, but I want to know where the wedding will be held. So let me start adding some of the details. This has been pre-populated, but obviously you'll change that depending upon what your details are. So we'll say the wedding is in 2015. And you will see how it starts to, once again, update in real time. The time is actually 4 o'clock. And it'll be in New York. So everything updates in real time, which is quite nice. Next, I want to put the call out button. And once again, just do it through the widgets area, call that button, and I'll say um, click here to RSVP now, or something like that. Now, if you don't make a change through the customizer, um, all that means is that you just need to probably put a space or something like that, just so it can register that there's a new value there. Um, so, as you saw before, let me delete that for now. Add widgets, go to call out. So, if I don't do anything, the button doesn't appear because, like I said, it won't register the new value. But it's very simple. You can just put space and then you'll have the button there. Um, and it's just so that the customizer recognizes that there is a new value that has been entered in. Um, next, you can actually change the colors of the navigation and whatnot. So, what I'll do before doing that, let's save this. 
we'll come back to this in a moment. Now let's see what it's looking like. Okay, it's coming along. And we'll close the customizer. Because what I'm going to show you is how we can upload the sidebar images. Uh, those are the ones that fade in and out. Firstly, you'll need to choose a file. So let me just go and find a placeholder image and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and what I've done is I've gone to find two placeholder images on my file system and that was simply just a matter of selecting where the location was, uploading it, and here you go. Now you can add as many as you like. You can change the fade speed as well as um, the milliseconds between slides, that's up to you. But what you do need to do is actually assign the um, backstretch div, which in our case is the aside element. So everything looks good, save, and let's take a look on the front end. Okay, there we go. Now the reason I wanted to show you this is because the menu actually has opacity. Um, which you will be able to customize as well. So let's go do that through the theme customizer. So let's go into colors and you can change the primary color. So suppose you wanted color of purple. You'll see that the items start to change. Now you could, if you wanted to have the side navigation the same color, you can do that. Just copy the hex code in there, and you will see how that starts to update. Now, you can also update the opacity level. You want to have it to, say, 10% opacity, which is very light, probably not recommended. Um, but let's change it. Let's change it to a good, a good value is 90. That way there's a bit of a fade. Um, border color, that's for the navigation so it's a purple let's make it, shall we go for a darker border no, let's go a bit lighter there we go, that looks a bit nicer okay, great everything's starting to look nice yep, 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 great looks good, alright let's go back up save that close it and let's take a look at how it looks on the front end great so as you can see all the corresponding sections are there you can update that as you see fit it's up to you and the form is all there pre-built for you it pretty much just depends upon how you want it to look um, color scheme is fully customizable one thing that I forgot to mention is you can actually add your own custom CSS as well. So if you find a specific area that you don't want to modify through the customizer, you can manually do it through this component here. So thanks for watching. And um, what I wanted to do is just uh, ask you if you could spare a minute to rate the theme. It would really help me out and I appreciate it. You can also find me at themechills.com where I blog about uh, my journey on on creating themes and, and templates and there's also a free landing page template that you can get from signing up on my email list. That being said, thanks again and uh, have a good one. Bye for now.